I have a standard piece of advice that I always share, whether it's a, a new team member or somebody who's coming to talk to me about their career progression or maybe in a year, year end career review, which is to always have impact. So no matter what role you're in, whether you have a leadership title like capital L, uh, a small L, it doesn't matter. If you really focus on how can you have impact? How can you leave that role better than you found it? How can you leave the project better than you found it? How can you help your team uh, improve and be more effective together by always focusing on the impact you're having in every initiative project or role? You will grow as an individual and you will be you will be noticed and identified as a as a leader who's ready for advancement. One of the most powerful tools you have as you progress in your career as a leader, it is communication and really thinking about how you use communication and what you're communicating as a tool for, for change and for inspiration and for aligning everybody to row in the same direction. Um, that's been my biggest learning, I would say, as I've progressed as a, as a leader and one of the areas that I'm constantly reevaluating actually and, and changing. One of the best examples was my mentor and sponsor um, many years ago when I was at KPMG. And I think before the phrase sponsor was even invented, there was a CEO who reached down into the ranks and, and pulled a, a young up and coming female partner being me into a very senior leadership role that put me at the executive table at a really early stage in my career. So he took, he took a risk on me. He put his, um, his uh, personal capital in, into me and took a chance and it made a huge difference in the trajectory of my career. Reflection is really important. So as I reflect on changes that I've made in my personal life or over the course of my career, I think the biggest game changer personally, both from a mental health perspective and resiliency perspective was to take up journaling, which I did probably in a more in a really sort of uh, regular habitual way seven or eight years ago. And I have found the practice of journaling, no matter how extensive or how short amount of time you spend at it in the morning or the evening, a really powerful tool for my own self learning reflection, uh, my own mental health for getting in touch with my feelings, and I think making me a much better you know, wife, mother, leader, colleague, friend, all of those things.